All right, so now we got some uh, fractions in parentheses being taken to a power that's negative. So we first when we have in parentheses one sixth outside of parentheses negative two. So there's a longer way to do this. I'm just going to show you my preferred way to do this, and that is just take the reciprocal of your base. One sixth is our base, so the reciprocal of one sixth is six over one. And then your exponent is positive. So negative two goes to two. We can write six over one as six. So this is the square of six, which is just six times six and at 36. Okay. Let's take a look at B. We have in parentheses, negative three fifths outside of parentheses, a negative three exponent. So again, I want to take the reciprocal of my base, which is negative three fifths. So then I get negative five thirds. My exponent is now positive. My base is still negative. All right, so now what this means, okay, I can do this a, a few ways. I can either say this is negative five thirds times negative five thirds times negative five thirds. Or we can remember from previous lessons, this is like saying, I'm going to say negative five cubed over three cubed. So that leaves me with negative 125 over 27. All right, C, one divided by y to the negative fifth. Okay, again, remember you're taking y to the negative fifth across the fraction bar. So since it's in the denominator, it's going into the numerator, y to the fifth. And we assume a one still in the denominator, which we don't need. We just have y to the fifth. All right, our fourth one here, we have in parentheses, five thirds, close parentheses to the power of negative one. So if I take the reciprocal of our base, which is five thirds, I get three fifths. And therefore my negative one exponent is now positive one, which I don't need to write. So I can write my answer just as three fifths. All right, I want you guys to try the three questions at the bottom, pause the video, and then we'll do them together. Hopefully you pause the video. Let's do these together. Number 10, I see I have a fraction being raised to a negative one power. I'm going to take the reciprocal of one third and I get three over one to the first power, or in other words, I just have three. All right, number 11, I have in parentheses, negative two fifths, close parentheses to the power of negative two. So I am going to take the reciprocal of my base, which now becomes negative five halves. And that's being raised to the power of positive two. So then that's equal to squaring negative five divided by squaring two. So I have 25 divided by four. And that is simplified. Lastly, I have one over w to the negative seven. I want to take w to the negative seven across the fraction bar. So that's going to go into the numerator. So now I have w to the seventh power over one. We don't need the over one. We can just write W to the seventh power.